G'day punters, just at the 1770 Marina. Just up here for a couple of days. Uh, we'll be going out with 1770 Liquid Adventures shortly just to do a bit of a paddleboard tour. Take some video of that and see what we see. Just cruising with the tide now, heading back down towards the 1770 inlet. And the boss is still one speed. Flood out. She's going to run into somebody soon. Just dodging and weaving um, sandbars at the moment. It's pretty shallow. We're probably close to the bottom of the tide. Almost full moon too. Ocean's that way. 1770 Township. And over that way is the 1770 Caravan Park. Is anyone travelling in a four wheel drive? Anyone got a four by four? Oh, brilliant. Anyone got a rental car? Mm. Yeah, four wheel drive. <laughs> Alright, reason to bring it up. Straight over there, we've got a magical little national park called Yurimbala National Park. It's actually Aboriginal land. It's Aboriginal sacred land. It's the Grand Grand People's Land. Absolutely stunning over there, guys. You've got three different types of subtropical rainforests. So, pretty much every time you turn a corner, you're in a whole new place. Pretty cool. There's also 40 kilometres of beach, which begins right here and goes all the way around to your right, all the way around a busted head. So if you jump, maybe if you jump really high, but yeah, 40 k's of beach all the way around there. So outside of school holidays, you got that whole place all to yourself. As you probably all been Australians know, during school holidays, screaming kids everywhere in Australia. So avoid going there in school holidays, okay? And there's also three rivers. Oh, we had um two weeks ago, we had 12 emus running on the beach. They chariots of fire. Bloody awesome. First and only time I've ever seen it. And you think, one of the only times my wife didn't have a phone with her. So no footage at all. But yeah, you remember the National Park, I highly recommend popping in there if you're here for a few more days and you've got a four-wheel drive. All right, another reason we stop. Oh, and there's also three river systems. So you've got this one. This is Round Hill Creek. You've got your Rimbala Creek. And over there, you've got, you've got Middle Creek. All right, that one's, well, Middle Creek and your Rimbala Creek are way more beautiful than this one. This one's pretty nice. Those two, uninhabited, great little surf breaks when they swell around, beautiful beaches, great campsites. Look, I'm not a fisherman, but if you like fishing, apparently it's really good for fishing over there as well. So yeah, if you're looking for a half day adventure, a full day adventure, or you want to go camping for a week, your Rimbala National Park is absolutely stunning. Just up near the uh, 1770 point. A couple of stand up paddle boarders straight ahead. Just about right off the point here. Tour operator Simon says we're not going to go out over the waves. A couple of uh, stand up paddle boarders out the front there. One came in before. Busted head looking up that way. Yurimbula National Park. back down to the 1770 inlet. So a little bit about 1770 Liquid Adventures. They do a bunch of tours from 1770. Uh, Simon's our guy, as I mentioned, his wife as well. She's not here. Uh, 60 bucks for a sunset tour, about two hours in total. Uh, today we turned up at uh, 3.45 p.m. bit of a briefing um, kayaks 
safety equipment, oars, and then we jumped in the water. Came for a row up here, or a paddle, whatever they call it. And didn't go out past the waves, as I mentioned previously. And we've landed on this beach. Snack some. He grows, well he says he's got a little bit of a garden patch, so he bought some fresh watermelon and he's popped his own corn and uh, for those who like a wine, a glass of wine. For those who don't want wine, he had some solo here. So that's the nibbles and drinks. Two hours or so in total. It's meant to be a sunset thing. Don't think it's going to happen today because weather's been pretty ordinary today, raining on and off. And we're looking west at the moment. Tide's coming in at the moment. Probably a good time to do it. Um, we did it at the bottom of the tide, so it was an outgoing tide, so we're heading towards the headland. And um, we have be another 10 minutes here. We'll head back in. Saw a few fish marauding in the shallows and some rays as well. No dolphins today. And no turtles. Well, not yet anyhow. Water's pretty good, it's probably 27, 28 degrees. Quite comfortable. Simon suggests that uh, if the currents are a little bit different. Um, sometimes it's going to be a little bit more difficult. They certainly suggest um, if you're over a, a particular age group, I think it was 45 or 55, I'll put it in the comments in here, that you should really can reconsider this tour, but uh, we haven't had any problems. And most of us in our group, well, I'm the youngest, 58. This uh, part of the point is Joseph Banks Conservation Reserve. It goes um, quite a way down towards Agnes Water as well. South is uh, Deep Water National Park, so that's just south of Agnes Water along the coastline. I think I've already mentioned out there is um, Urimbula National Park, out that way. Just left where we had uh, little snacks. As you see a little green white mark up there, it's a walking trail there. It says there's um, some good snorkeling in here, um, some coral forming. But the only way to access that there other than water is uh, coming in that walking track. You probably won't see it here but um, just in front of us, towards the top of the tree canopy, there's a um, sea osprey up there. A little bit of white, black back. Pretty still here in the moment. I'm just paddling up against the current at the moment. Well, the wife is in here. Don't know who's behind me. Let's have a look. Marina in front of us. Yeah, sunset on the beach. 1770. 